They're mainly asking the county for two things, asking for fair wages and benefits, calling for a 5.5 to a 9 percent pay increase, as well as retroactive pay. Now, they argue that this is all to be able to keep up with the cost of living in Sacramento, as well as to keep experienced attorneys inside the courtroom. Loud and clear. About 250 prosecutors and public defenders walking out of their jobs. We're ready to fight. And straight to the front of the picket line. This isn't the first time we've been on strike. Back in 2006, the attorneys went on strike, and I was one of those lawyers back then out on the picket line. Sacramento County District Attorney Tin Ho says the union that represents both the public defenders and the district attorney's office have been out of contract for two years now. If you don't pay average, you, you don't, don't care, care about constitutional you rights. You don't care. You don't care. Going into their third. I think it's about time that um, the county's CEO uh, sit down and really try to resolve this issue because we have the best DA's office, I think, in the entire country. But I'm having problems recruiting and retaining people uh, because we need better fair wages and benefits for them. So as people leave the office, caseloads are ballooning. The action is the first major strike involving both offices in close to 20 years. Attorneys who are part of the union say there's a report from an independent arbiter supporting their position. In an email statement to Fox 40, a Sacramento County spokesperson said, quote, with top step annual salaries for our attorneys reaching $247,000 for principal attorneys, $225,000 for level five, and $204,000 for level four, well above market averages, even when considering higher cost areas, our compensation packages, including pensions and benefits, are competitive and generous. A 19.5 to 20.5 percent compensation increase, as opposed to the 14 to 15 percent provided as part of the current extension for one of the county's highest paid staff, who also have the lowest vacancy rate, appears counterintuitive given the market data does not support such a raise, unquote. We have not received an offer in three years, not 2%, not 1%, nothing to bridge the gap. As to the effect this can have on the public, DA Ho says they are balancing both the ongoing cases and the strike and that no trials nor hearings will be impacted. We're going from about 180 lawyers down to about 12. And so I'm over in court today um, handling hearings, handling cases to make sure um, that um, public safety is not jeopardized or impacted. And the lawyers who were present out here today tell me that when they voted to go on strike, they had over a 90 percent approval by the union. So they're expected to be out here every single day for at least this week. Live in Sacramento covering local news that matters. Kimberly Cruz, Fox 40 News. And Kimberly, just a little bit more to add to that story. Decarcerate Sacramento putting out this statement in response to the strike that Kimberly was just talking about. Quote, public defenders are putting their clients' lives and constitutional rights in jeopardy. We are longtime advocates for increased funding to the public defender's office, but not at the expense of someone else's life, liberty, and constitutional rights.